So I started working on this. Um, I started taking the, uh, I already used an impact to get this off and I got this off relatively pretty easy. Um, this is the seal that we're going to be replacing today. We're gonna be replacing the seal today right in here. We're gonna be replacing the seal right in here. Then I gotta look up exactly. I think it's in here. We gotta get this seal in there. So somewhere in there. This is the old, dirty one. This is the new one. This little one here, man, was a stubborn one. Look at that. All right, guys, so we're back. Um, just did the rear stuff first. It's got the brand new seal right in here. Brand new one. Um, best way to, I have to use one of these things to get this big one on kind of fit on there snugly and then I just tapped it in there I didn't I, I couldn't find my mallet so I used a, a I guess a tiny baby sledge um, and I just tapped it in there really 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 light I mean like really light that's what took me so long is just kind of make sure I don't mess anything up and then for here I just used this socket it's a um, it's a piece of crap socket I have five eighths and that was exactly size I needed it was a deep <clears throat> to get that on there so I'm gonna um, finish up here put everything back together and um, I'm gonna put all this back on and work on the uh, bell housing side so uh, this is almost done I'm ready to go in soon all right so um, best way to get this out I just wanted to kind of share this with you guys if you guys are gonna do this uh, very imperative okay that um, for one, you're gonna need a drill bit. I'll put <coughs> all the tool sizes in the description that I used. This is very long. As you can see, this is a 12 inch. I could be wrong, but yeah, that's about 12 inches uh, because the bell housing's in the way. And make sure you drill very, very, very slowly. I cannot stress this enough. You, you, you have to drill very slowly if you're gonna do this. After you drill a hole through the O-ring, you're gonna use a, you're gonna take a screw, okay? And you're gonna just, you know, screw, uh, pop a screw in there, okay? And as you can see, I didn't go too deep, so I don't mess up anything behind the O-ring. Um, and then, we're just gonna leave that there for a second so you can kind of get an idea of, of how you wanna pull this out. Um, the best way to pull this out here is I used a uh, nail puller. And, um, you know, just kind of went in here and just, you know, pried up against, pried up against the, uh, you won't be able to see it now. But anyways, that's just to kind of give you guys a quick demonstration of that. Uh, and it popped right out. Um, real pain. Now, how to how to get this in? Um, I'm gonna use this. It's just a standard, ordinary uh, inch and a half PVC piping. It's perfect for this uh, right there. Perfect for that. Goes right in. It's gonna be nice. And I'm just gonna tap the other end of it with a hammer and get the uh, old, the new O-ring in there uh, you know, evenly. All right, I'll give you guys an update status here uh, as soon as I get that going and uh, we'll go from there. All right, bye. Looks good, nice and flush. Um, yeah, nice and flush for the most part. So um, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, put some thread sealer on these uh, screws, four screws here. And uh, yeah, and uh, wrap this up, man. Only thing that'll be left is to torque down the flange in the back of the trans, but uh, that's that's no big deal. And just like that, he's out. Like a thief in the night. Cheers. Bye.
All right, so we got it torqued down. Sorry I couldn't record anything. He was in a rush to get out of here, but that's done. And um, where did you put the uh, stuff? All right, I'm going to clean up a little bit and then um, wrap this up.